Welcome to the Everyday Mom Challenge. Today I wanted to do a screencast because I wanted to share with you how easy it is for you to go ahead and start making a planning sheet for your children for homeschooling. Especially in the summertime, I get this feeling of anxiousness and I know we're supposed to have a break and I know we're supposed to like completely forget all homeschooling, but let's get real. You know, each day I think of, you know, how can I craft an amazing year for my students, my babies for next year. I do it for work at my public school job. I do it for my homeschooling life. So I wanted to share with you a way that I have set up Solomon's fall semester for high school. Um, I'm a high school teacher and um, so I just wanted to get kind of give you the background of why I choose to do math too, as you can see, and English too every fall for the rest of his life in high school he's gonna have these two in the fall and I'm gonna give you my reason why SATs for our state can count as our homeschool testing so at uh, mid-January and uh, between the mid-January end of February I'm gonna want him to take his first SAT and the reason why I'm going to do it during that time period is because the first semester is just going to be coming to a close. And he's going to have this math, too, pretty much in the bag. Now, I don't want him to take math, too, and then go three more months or four more months and not have that application of the skill and then go in and take a math portion of the SAT. So I will let you know that I am strongly like championing you to do math, your maths and your Englishes when you have um, your homeschool babies for the fall semester. So when things change on this plan, for example, we've already moved night to a summer reading list. Um, I actually found it today with the, in the Goodwill, and I also found. Um, a judge bio, Clarence Thomas. We're going to move that one to the summer reading list to get him started. Um, you can just go in and you can add and go and, and go through. So I want to show you how I'm going to do the file. So for math two, I have found study pug. And guys, I'm telling you right now, this thing looks great. If anybody's ever used it, please like let me know what do you think. But look a here look a here so I'm gonna buy this and I'm gonna combine the 77 topics with these 242 topics you see how many lessons there are and this is how I'm gonna have him work through math 2 by combining geometry and algebra 2 now for algebra 1 I'm not going to use this because we have already I worked through Easy Peasy High School for Algebra 1. I love that. Um, so I'm not going to go down to Algebra 1 unless I need to, unless there's a skill on there that we need to go back and review. I know that if you've never checked out Engage New York, that that's a great website with a lot of really cool lesson plans on it. But I'm definitely going to try this one out. I think that it's going to be worth the money for me. Um, and I'm going to do this semi-annual um, subscription so check out study pug like I said if you guys know about it you let me know now all in one high school out I, I tell my people at high school all the time you guys got to try this for students who are struggling in math and that and look at all these courses people so I'm going to algebra one just to kind of give you a brief overview of what we did with this one if you're planning for ninth grade curriculum so you see how it's broken down in today's and when you go over these you'll have the presentations the warm-ups the videos are awesome they're very relevant they tell you why math does work in the real world and why it is necessary to learn math so I do like that aspect of it because it really makes it applicable for my baby he can see the process too and if we miss the problems it gives us the steps on how to do it so I love that part so with English too, okay, 
What can you do with English too? Well, we do have a, some textbooks that I had found at the Goodwill. Um, you can buy textbooks online. I go to Amazon all the time and purchase textbooks. I got my American History textbook online. Um, the English too is going to be more though a political focus. So we're going to be reading a lot of biographies. Um, we're going to be reading a lot of nonfiction articles. I mean, but the thing is, is that see Solomon does that anyway. So we've got to be very careful because he spends at least, you know, two to three hours a day. Maybe even honestly, guys, I'm not kidding. Maybe more. Uh, he has admitted to three hours a day of um, political readings, but. Um, I want him to branch out and I've already purchased a lot of books like he's got such a huge stack already a collection of political books um, and we already kind of know the ones that we're going to start off with like are the ones that he really follows the most um, and I'm going to learn a lot through this process so I purchased this online and we're going to be doing American History 1 because I'm thinking that this is a great pairing with my English one because we're doing a political focus. I want to show um, how these strands are so intertwined. Um, now, my baby wants to take Carpentry 1. So I'm going to tell you, I know nothing about Carpentry. I asked him after we looked at a public school offerings list of different electives. There was foods one on there. And I'm like, baby, you love to cook. We make recipes and do things all the time. And he was like, that's exactly why I'm not going to take it in high school. And I'm thinking, great. I mean, I'm telling that, but I mean, how easy that would have been for me. <laughs> oh, so instead, he chose carpentry. So now I'm going to um, gather up the different men in my family that are very good at this type of thing and we're going to be planning out projects but I'm going to tell you if you go online and you start investigating I have found the place that actually has basic woodworking units and it's amazing like whichever whoever teacher teams or teacher put this together they're the bomb okay so Look at the prompts that they have to do. The definitions are already there. The shop safety. I'm going to pair this with YouTube videos on each one of the topics. And he's going to have his entire, look, his the entire curriculum for carpentry. And I'm super excited about it. So thanks to whoever at Valley Oaks Charter School put this up there because you can simply go here. You can hit download in case they would take it off. When you download, you save that joker and you put it into your Google file. Okay. So you need to create your folders for your kids. And then that's just going to slide over there. And then I'm going to share the folder, of course. You know how to, sh to share that. So when you click share, it's going to show the people that you're sharing this with. All right. So why do I have SAT prep here? So I'm going to make him take an additional course. It's not going to be placed on his transcript, but he is going to have to do the Princeton Review Book. Because I'm telling you guys right now, if you've never invested in Princeton Reviews, I am going to be their, their cheerleader on that one because we use those for the AP test. And I know for ninth grade, and it was the first time we had taken APs, and it was a little daunting. And I was like, how can I do this? It was just great. And my baby walked into the AP testing feeling so confident and super prepared. So I'm definitely going to get this SAT prep book. And he's going to work that book every day. But he's also going to do a free site that the Army has placed up. And it's called March to Success. So we are definitely going to be working this one too. So it's going to be the college prep. We're going to be doing practice test. This is so cool. And it's free. So we're definitely going to be working for March to Success. So thank you, Army. I pray that Solomon gets there one day. 
Well, guys, this is the way that we set up for the fall semester, and I will make another one for the spring, and I hope you guys have a blessed day and happy planning.